Easy guys, Dom here from Cringy Dad Gaming. So World War Z is now here and I just thought I'd take the opportunity just to quickly go through all the guns that you're going to be able to use in this game and the guns I've used so far in the game have been really fun to use, uh, great sound design, feel really good in terms of the way they handle, uh, quite punchy and quite satisfying to use and there's also different variants of different uh, weapons that you can unlock uh, starting with the first one in the list which is the standard scout rifle and as you go through the game you'll be able to start purchasing other variants for your characters using these uh, credits that you will acquire through completing uh, certain stages within the game I've already started to get my kind of favourite weapons together, um, ARK being one of them. Uh, some of these variants are also pretty cool, ones with different attachments, extended mags, silencers, scopes, etc. Some of these are sick. Uh, you can even go for the classic gold one at some point if you want. Some of these will not be full auto weapons, some of them will be semi-automatic, so you know, depending on your play style and what you like you can go a little bit more stealthy there's certain points within the game where you uh, can utilize stealth but to be honest with you the main thing about this game is hordes so you know some of it will be going loud don't forget to pop in the comments what your favorite weapon is if you've had a chance to play uh, the game and you coming across the video um, but really this video is just about showing people who have not yet purchased the game maybe thinking about it and kind of have a look through potential weapons that you can use in the game. I know that's a big thing for a lot of people, especially if you are taking on zombie hordes. You want to make sure that you can muster up a pretty good arsenal of weapons to be able to uh, take them down. So different characters will start off with different weapons and you unlock weapons as you progress through the game so you're not going to have access to all these right from the start so I'd just like to point that out now. Some weapons you will actually be able to pick up from different areas within the game as well. I noticed that there was quite a good selection of weapons for you to be able to kind of pick up and use as you go through the game. Uh, you can only hold one main weapon, one secondary weapon and one heavy weapon at any one time. So it's not like you can have uh, about 10 different guns, it's a shame, that'd be nice wouldn't it, but you know, that'd be overkill. As you can see, the list and variations go on and on and on. Um, I did uh, have quite a bit of fun with some of these shotguns and... Uh, Again, a few different variations, they seem to be quite devastating in this game. Do you find that the uh, enemies in this game are relatively weak? And the reason why they're relatively weak is because of the sheer number of them they have to be really. You will come across some harder enemies and having better weapons will help you dispatch those harder enemies a lot quicker. Um, but the majority of just the generic zombies are pretty easy to kill. These are some of your secondary weapons that you can use. Pistols, machine pistols, revolvers, etc. If we really want to have a good look at some of these weapons, we can take a little bit more of an in-depth preview, which I do like as well. This is quite cool and uh, it's a perfect opportunity for you to uh, have a look at the actual design of some of the guns within the game. They're pretty clean as you can see, uh, pretty well put together and um, perfect opportunities for you to be able to take some uh, screenshots as well um, if you fancy that. So alright let's go back and continue through the list. Anyone who's played any modern shooter or watched a lot of movies will know a lot of these guns within the game. So nearly to the end here now. Some of these weapons now the heavy weapons. Some of these will only have limited ammo. You won't be able to restock the ammo on these. Um, if you find any of these and pick any of these up within the game, I would recommend holding off from using them against just the stragglers. Wait until you've got a massive horde 
and then let rip. Uh, the saw style light machine gun here, um, you will have to almost kind of like mount it down on the floor for it to be used. So some of these will restrict when and how you can use them. The majority of them though will just allow you to freely use them whenever you fancy. Chainsaw is really good fun. Uh, it contains fuel rather than ammo. It's, uh, you know, lasts for a decent amount of time. So, but there you go, guys. So, we've been able to take a look at some of the uh, weapons within World War Z. Uh, if that's helped you, uh, you know, kind of get a good idea of what is on hand when you play this game, don't forget to uh, pop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and just watch this space for more World War Z live streaming and gameplay videos. Thanks for watching. You're ready for this. Yo, who's the daddy?